On the opening day of this year's World Economic Forum in Tianjin, China's economic outlook is taking center stage. How to upgrade the country's industrial value chain, revisiting monetary policy and how to boost investment and innovation are at the top of the agenda. The forum's participants are also discussing how China's growth trajectory will impact the rest of the world. China's economy recovery uh, basically faltered uh, in the latest two months. Uh, both uh, industrial production data and as well as the uh, electricity production uh, slowed uh, in July compared with the previous months. And also the official PMI data it disappoints the market a little bit. China's official growth target for 2014 is 7.5%, and the government has been trying to steer the economy away from investment and export-driven growth towards consumption-led activity. Analysts have recommended that monetary policy needs to be loosened more. Entrepreneurs and companies uh, that are innovative need to have access to, uh, to financing. If you look at uh, innovative places, uh, in the United States, like Silicon Valley, for instance, uh, you'll see that uh, they have access to venture capital, for example. The global lenders' projections this year are almost in line with the government's forecast, predicting real GDP growth of 7.4%. However, the IMF expects expansion to ease to 7.1% in 2015. China's economy has had a bumpy ride so far this year, although growth rebounded from an 18-month low in the second quarter. Tepid domestic demand and the cooling real estate sector are weighing down. Over the next three days, here at the World Economic Forum in Tianjin, participants will discuss how to support the domestic economy. Martina Fox, CCTV News, Tianjin.